Shalom, brothers and sisters. A Christian pro-life protester sentenced to six months in prison. Again, and then look at who they don't sentence and what's on the streets at the moment. A pro-life protester was sentenced to six months in federal prison in Nashville, Tennessee on Wednesday last week after being convicted earlier this year of violating a federal law against blocking access to abortion clinics. Calvin Zastro was sentenced by U.S. District Judge Alita Trauger to three years of supervised release and will be expected to self-report to prison by October the 1st. He received no fine in October 2022. He was one of originally 11 people indicted for blocking the entrance to the Carafem Health Center Clinic in Nashville suburb Mount Juliet on March the 15th, 2021. The group gathered together at the entrance, sang hymns, and urged women not to go through with their abortions. So they didn't block them and stop them. They were just in front of the entrance. And that is what they're saying as blocked. Upon his sentencing at the federal courthouse, Zastro reportedly maintained during remarks that his Christian faith prompted him to participate in the pro-life protest because children are a blessing from God and said he has endeavored to live his life under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. According to Operation Rescue, Zastro quoted the book of Revelation after his sentencing by shouting, Worthy is the Lamb. Trauger, a Clinton appointee, was reportedly dismissive of Zastro's remarks and told him she didn't need to hear a sermon. She also reportedly told him that his religious fervor had caused pain to others. And you know what? Just by hearing the sermon she didn't want to hear, she has no excuse when she stands before the Lamb of God. Worthy is the Lamb. And all these things are seen and noted by God. And whether they want to hear it or not, and whether they want to allow it or not, they will stand and be reminded about moments like this very, very shortly in the days ahead. God bless. Keep looking up and keep praying for all these people being persecuted for trying to show the love of God and the truth of God to everybody out there. Shalom.